They said there'll be snow at Christmas. Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. I fully expected to put this video together in a week or two, but I reached 3,000 subscribers on Christmas Day, much to my surprise. So I moved some video topics back into the new year to make this thank you video to you subscribers who've joined my channel and put me over the 3,000 subscriber mark. I'm truly amazed and humbled by the response. My channel was only first monetized at 1,000 subscribers last March, and then I made 2,000 subscribers in August. So it's only taken nine months for this channel to go from 1,000 to 3,000 subscribers. So I must be doing something that is catching on. It can't just be the pens. Who gets excited about a pen? So let's look at some of the things that might have piqued some interest over the last nine months, shall we? So you want to see me trudging through the snow, do you? Okay, well, here I go again. Sliding away, slip sliding away. Nomad! Error, error, must sterilize. <laughs> sterilize! Oh man, it's cold. Hey, that's cold. It better be there today, I tell you. Damn it! Mother pus bucket! No! God, please, no! 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 That blast it, that gum it, oh, blast it! <laughs> And I'm Tits McGee. I Damn it! It never gets any easier! We drive to the mailbox. It is minus 27 degrees Celsius here in Calgary. And we'll see if I got skunked again. This is even more painful than it looks. So apparently you folks like watching me will trudge through the snow. See, I'm surrounded by mountains and I'm outstanding in my field. But it's basically, me saying thank you for 1,000 subscribers. If I turn it too fast, of course I just turned it right in and it just gushed all over me. Now I like being gushed on as much as the next guy, <gasps> but not when it's ink like this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Doug and I have something called PASCAS. <laughs> P-A-S stands for Pen Acquisition Syndrome, and GAS stands for Gear Acquisition Syndrome. It is an affliction from which many suffer. We are not alone in this acquisition syndrome. Let's look at guitars, shoes, bobbleheads. It's me. I'm the bobblehead. This is my mailbox. You notice that it's empty? It's been an empty for 11 weeks. So, the hell with this, I'm going shopping. And what did I return with from a store that has Mont Blancs worth literally thousands of dollars? Well, this $12 Pilot Plumix. I apologize for the package here, but uh, it got damaged when I ripped it open a few minutes from now. Sorry. Dear Mr. Postman, please send me my pens, love. Doug, P.S. No more cheese. And get a note to the milkman. No more cheese. Attack of the Killer Clones, right now. I can't breathe in this thing! 
If that's what you guys like, then you'll get plenty more where that came from in 2021. And as always, with the channel milestone, I'll be giving away a pen to one of you lucky subscribers. So stay tuned to find out how you can win this Jinhao 997 right now. And as always, I will make you wade through a bunch of annoying commercials and boring pen talk before we get to the giveaway details. I'm waiting! <laughs> First segment, what I got for Christmas. I want you to write a theme. <laughs> what I want for Christmas. I've been a very good boy this year, or so my kids seem to think, because I got a couple of bottles of new ink, so I thought I'd sample them for the first time here on camera with you. This is a diamine ink vent calendar ink from 2019 called happy holidays my son bought me two bottles of diamine ink vent calendar ink one jack frost and one happy holidays i've already demonstrated the jack frost for you in my top 10 fountain pens video and this happy holidays i have never tried before gotta love these bottles with the glass feet so even when you're out of ink you can probably fill this up with something else it's very very nice on the desk and this is a Roshizuku Amairo which I got from my daughter and son-in-law it is a peacock blue from the looks of the bottle but I'm interested to compare it with my favorite ink Konpeki I consider a Roshizuku the Cadillac of inks they are also silky smooth and beautiful and the bottles are not only elegantly beautiful but they're practical as well with that deep divot down at the bottom of the um, of the bottle uh, allowing the pen to get as deep as possible to get every little bit of ink out of it beautiful ink so let's do a swatch of Amairo and I'm going to use my dip pen for this do the smear with a brush so that it gets thicker in one area like that and thinner in another and now for happy holidays and for this I'm going to use my Christmas gift from last Christmas from my kids which is this just right calligraphy set and this is a 1.5 stub which is just as smooth as silk and of course this is a shimmer ink so we're going to want to make sure we shake that up and I just dip this I can tell right off the bat that that is a uh, dry ink well that's a deep purple isn't it I have to put some music to that deep purple <laughs> those two ink swatches dry under the sun lamp we will move on to the next segment which is I want to share a few tips that I've discovered over the last few weeks we're going to start with this pen this is my Moon Blanc Little Prince P135 it made my top 10 list of 2020 but one of the issues I have with any pen with lots of chrome on it or very shiny surfaces is fingerprints perhaps you don't leave prints but I do 
Last night I found you in the kitchen, washing the floor, shaking your head and moaning footprints, footprints. I didn't say they were yours. Well, they were mine, damn it. I have feet, they make prints. What do you want me to do, climb across the cabinets? No, I just want you to walk on the floor. A viewer commented uh, in the comments on, the, on this video uh, about a product called Renaissance Wax that will protect a shiny surface like this Moonman cap from fingerprints. So I looked it up on Amazon and I discovered it is disturbingly expensive. But then upon further research, I found Renaissance Wax was actually just microcrystalline wax. I found it at Lee Valley Tools and called Lee Valley's Conservators Wax, which in the contents says it's a microcrystalline wax cleaner and polish for antique furniture and art objects. So I gave this a try. This tin is much more affordable at about $15 Canadian for 4.2 fluid ounces or 125 mils. But it does recommend that you use uh, gloves. So I put my latex gloves on and applied a light coat all over this cap and I decided to go over the barrel as well because it's very shiny and on the section as well but I also tried it on my Platinum President and not just the clip but on the body of this pen because it's one of those very very shiny uh, plastic uh, piano black they call it um, that's very very shiny and really attracts the the fingerprints for me anyway and the other couple of pens I was concerned about is this Visconti Van Gogh that has a metal section and it attracts fingerprints like crazy and same thing with this Visconti Rembrandt now I haven't put it on this one and you can probably see that it does pick up some fingerprints but this one not so much the other thing about this pen is that mirrored Ponte Vecchio arch clip that I love so much, but it's so mirror-like that I'm always wiping it down while I put some Renaissance wax, well, conservator's wax on that, and it doesn't pick up the fingerprints quite as much anymore. Also, every single Pen BBS pen that I own that has a sword clip is just like a mirror, and so I've put that conservators wax on that as well it, it doesn't eliminate the fingerprints but it does seem to reduce the visibility of them to where they don't actually exacerbate my OCD quite so much another tip I've just discovered seems to solve the problem of the PPP or pilot pet peeve it's a pledge pin sir a pledge pin on your uniform almost all pro pilot pen partisans have the same pilot pet peeve that pisses them off to perplexing proportions. And without that pledge pin, do you understand? And that is the Pilot Con 40 converter. This little piece of pilot precocity makes no sense at all. It isn't just how little ink it can hold when it's full, it is that you can't fill it completely anyway. And further, for lovers of the Pilot E95S like me, when you put the damn thing in the pen, you can't see your ink levels at all. Now, it isn't like Pilot doesn't know how to make converters. They do. Look at this Con 70 that I've got in my Pilot Explorer. This is a fabulous converter with great capacity. Of course, this doesn't fit my Pilot E95, unfortunately. The Con 70 doesn't fit many Pilot pens like my Pilot Falcon here. So again, either live with this piece of Pilot poop, the Con 40, or fill an empty cartridge. That is, until I discovered this in my Wingsung 670 review. That the Pilot cartridge fits the Wingsung 670 perfectly by ipso fatso logic so the converter of the 670 wing sun will fit 
in my Falcon. So there is the Wingsung converter from the 670 in my plastic version of the Pilot Falcon. The Metal Falcon will take the Con 70 converter, but the Wingsung converter will also fit in a Metal uh, Falcon. Now this Wingsung 670 converter won't fit into my E95, of course, because that's a compact uh, fountain pen. But this Wingsung converter may end up being a godsend for those who hate Con 40 as much as I do. Pilot used to make a Con 50 converter that was very similar to this Wingsung one, and I think you can still get some of these. But the Wingsung makes a great inexpensive alternative. And viewer Pat Patrizio 98 informs me that the converter in his Wingsung 613 fits his Pilot Kukuno and his Pilot Metropolitan well. So of course I got out my Metropolitan, pulled the Wingsung converter out of the Falcon, and pushed it into my Metropolitan to see if it worked. And voila, a perfect fit. So with the Wingsung 613 priced at around $7.50 US and the Pilot Con 50 converter selling for twice that, it makes sense to pick up a Wingsung 613 just for the converter if you are a Pilot pen lover but hate the Con 40 converter. Let me know in the comments if any of you have had success with other Pilot pens and Wingsung converters. And now that the ink swatches have dried, let's take a closer look at them here. This is the Orochizuku Ama Iro. And here it is up against the Orochizuku Konpeki. They both have a good amount of red sheen in them. But the uh, Ama Iro is a bit lighter and a bit more green. I know cameras are often lie about color. And let's take a look at the Diamine Ink Vent Happy Holidays. This is a lovely deep purple ink with a deep red shine. And I believe it's a, yeah, it's a silver sparkle to it. And here is the Jack Frost. It has a lovely red sheen to it and a silver sparkle as well, but it's a lot more bluish green turquoise. Lovely. And before I leave the subject of uh, little tips about slick chrome sections and uh, mirrored surfaces. One of the bugaboos I have about metal sections is that they are very slippery. Not only they pick up fingerprints, but they're very slippery. And one of the culprits that is most at fault for this is my Moonman T2. And the T2 has a very slick mirrored section, but I did something to mine. It now has kind of a frosty coating to it. It's not very good because it's coming off in places, but this is what I did to it. I took the nib and feed out and this part of the body off. Of course, there was no ink in it. And I masked off right up to this section of the plastic here with masking tape. And I sprayed this with this premium automotive paint. It is a clear coat. So any brand clear coat automotive and I put two or three coats on it and let them dry between about 15, 20 minutes between the coats. And I think next time that I'll, I'll let it dry for like a day between coats and, uh, and probably a few days before I try to use it. I was anxious to see how it felt. And so I kind of mucked it up a little bit, but that is now very grippable. And so this pen is now usable again for me. There's another little tip if you don't mind marring your pen a little bit. A little bit of clear coat on those metal sections. And now for some new pen year resolutions for 2021. These are mine. I resolve to try a Lamy fountain pen with a metal section with an open mind. I've been kind of prejudiced against metal sections and against Lamy in particular as well as Faber-Castell so I'm going to resolve to try one. And that resolution will actually come true as I've already ordered this Lamy Studio Palladium 
Thanks go out to Kathy at Gadget Stop 321 for the inspiration on this one. Of course, if I end up hating it, I'll blame her first. Next, I resolve to at least sample non-blue inks in 2021. Of course, I'll start with this Amarillo. You may think it's blue, but it's it's getting towards green, isn't it? And maybe I'll try this in some of my pens. That's in a little purple range. We'll see. Next, I resolve to lose some pounds in 2021. I know, everybody says that. But I'm going to do it by selling off some of the herd of fountain pens I've acquired in 2020. Perhaps a live stream auction. That sounds like fun. That sounds like a plan. I also resolve to do another collaboration video with Alan Light of What I Ink. Alan and I will review this Moonblanc M1000 Lobrock once they both arrive in our respective countries something to look forward to. I also resolve not to be so sensitive to people making crude comments about my guitar playing fingernails. I put a clip of me finger picking my guitar in front of every video to show what they are for, but the penny doesn't drop for a lot of people. Time's up, Eddie. So I will do a segment where I read out the most offensive comments that I get on my channel and call out the individuals who posted it live on camera. That'll be fun. Please, over here it's, you know, nothing but... And finally, I resolve to be more serious about my pen reviews in 2021. I know I've gotten silly in the past, but fountain pens are far too serious a subject to ridicule or make light of. So, there will be fewer fart jokes. Oh, God. Monty Python riffs. <laughs> and Family Guy cutaways. What the hell? No, 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 no! Hey, Peter, can you blow that towel rack down here? Thank you. In future videos. And I think I just broke that resolution. Oh well. If you don't like it... It's not much of a philosophy, I know. But well... Q. I can live my own life in my own way if I want to. Cough. Don't come following me! And now to the giveaway. I'm going to give away this Jinhao 997 fountain pen that I reviewed just recently to one lucky subscriber. I like this pen so much that I bought another five of them as stocking stuffers for my family. My wife got this gold version and it's actually even prettier in person than it was in the photos. The gold is textured and she loves this pen. And I'm very pleased. So you're not getting this one. In fact, I had difficulty getting it off her desk just to do this segment. Someone is going to get this pewter version. It's a dark pewter gray, which I really like. All you have to do to win this pen is be a subscriber and post a comment on this video. I'll give you a topic to discuss. Talk amongst yourselves! My New Year's resolution is fill in the blank. If any of you put a comment that literally says, quote, fill in the blank, you will be disqualified for being a smartass. I'm the only one that does smartass around here, boyo. Have you a valediction, boyo? Rollo. Tomasi. <laughs> Add your comment in the comment section of this video by midnight Pacific Standard Time, Saturday, January 2nd, and I will announce the winner of the random draw in a pinned comment on this video, as well as in an announcement on my community tab, which is linked in the description below. If I announce your handle as the winner of the giveaway, you will have 48 hours to respond to me by email with your name and postal address. My email is in the description below this video. Good luck to all of you, and thank you all for supporting my channel. And there you have it. 
If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. this.